Hi friends, I'm back with another story from the Panchatantra for you. And the name of today's story is The Elephant and the Mice. And do you know what? To tell us the story, I have my friend, Mr. Mouse. Hi, Mr. Mouse. Hello, hello children, how is everyone? Mr. Mouse, will you be able to tell us the story of the elephants and the mice? Yes, of course, I would love to. Great, let's listen to the story from Mr. Mouse. There was a large and beautiful city beside the lake. It had many temples and fine houses. The people who lived there were happy and prosperous. With the passage of time, the city lay in ruins. The people had fled, taking with them their cows and bullocks and horses and elephants. Only the mice in the city stayed on. They moved into the houses and temples. It became a city of mice. Soon there were more mice than ever, generations of them. Great generations and grandparents, fathers and mothers, husbands and wives, uncles and aunts, brothers and sisters, and lots and lots of baby mice. All of them lived happily together. Almost every day, there was some celebration or the other. There were spring and harvest festivals, weddings and other get-togethers. In a jungle far away from this city of mice lived some elephants. They were large herd and their king was a big tusker noble and kind. He ruled his herd well. The elephants loved him. The tusker and his herd were happy in the jungle until a great disaster befell them. There was no rain for several years and all the rivers and tanks dried up. They had no water to drink. Far and wide, the elephants went in search of water. One of them reported to the king that he had seen a city in the ruins. On the other side of it was a lake. The king was delighted. He led his herd to the lake. On the way, they had to pass through the city of mice. As the thirsty elephants hurried along, they did not notice that thousands of mice were being trampled to death. Thousands more were injured. Mice doctors and nurses did all they could to help the dying and the injured. As more and more elephants rushed through the city, more and more mice were killed and injured. Such a terrible calamity had never befallen the mice before. What could they do? How were they to stop the elephants from destroying them? The mice got together to consider the best course of action. A wise old mouse suggested they go to the king of the elephants and plead with him. He might agree to stop his herd from passing through the city. All the mice thought it was a good practical idea. They chose three mice to speak for them. The three went to the king of the elephants, bowed low and said, Your majesty, you are big and powerful. Perhaps you are not aware of the great harm done when the herd passes through our city. We are small and get crushed under your feet. Many thousands of us have already been killed and many more injured. We fear that if you pass through the city again, none of us will be left alive. So we have come to request you to return to your jungle by some other way. If you do that, 
we shall always be grateful to you and be your friends. We admit we are small, but some day we may be able to help you. The tusker was moved. You are right, he told them. Now go and live in peace. I will see that you do not suffer any more. Years later, the king of a nearby country wanted many elephants for his army. He sent out his men to capture as many as they could. They came to the jungle where the tusker and his herd lived. They were happy to find so many elephants. The men dug deep pits and covered them with twigs and leaves. These were traps for elephants. The king of the elephants and many of his herd fell into the pits. They tried hard to get out but could not. The men came back bringing with them some tame elephants. With strong ropes they pulled the trapped elephants out of the pits and tied them firmly. The men went back with the tame elephants to report to their king. The captive elephants were in a sad plight. Their king was distressed to find that so many of his herd had been caught along with him. How could they escape? He could not think of a way out. It was then that he remembered the mice in the city. They had said they would help. The tusker called his queen. She had not been trapped. He asked her to rush to the city of mice and tell them what had happened. The queen hastened to the mice. They were sorry to hear that the elephants were in such peril. We will certainly do our best to help our friends. They assured her. Thousands of mice rushed to the place where the elephants were. With their sharp teeth, they cut through the thick ropes and finally set the elephants free. There were great rejoicing all around. The mice were happy. They were able to repay a debt. One of them clambered up the trunk of the king. We are friends, he said. You were kind to us once. Now we are glad we could be of help. The mice and the elephants got together to celebrate. This is the happiest festival of all. They joyfully sang in chorus. It is indeed a festival of friendship between mice and elephants. The moral of the story is that a friend in need is a friend indeed. Remember in the beginning of the story, when the mice needed the help of the elephants, the elephants helped them. And later on, when the elephants needed the help of mice, the mice helped them. That means they were good friends to each other, right? Are you a friend in need to your friend? I really enjoyed that story. Thank you, Mr. Mouse. I am so glad that you and the elephants are friends now. Aren't you glad too? You are welcome. Thank you for listening. You know what? This was the last story from the book Stories from Panchatantra. And next time, I'm going to start a new series for you. It's a surprise. So remember to like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. So until next time, bye. Bye everyone.